What's up you guys, this is Junior Trader and in this video we are taking a look at NEO stock. Guys, I know, I know, I know NEO is falling. It failed to get out of the second stage into the third stage. I'll provide a bit of background on that where we left off with that particular cases and then also what NEO stock has done over the last week. If there are a couple of, well, um, there, there's there's a news on Neo as well. I'll, I'll talk about that. And um, but yeah, this thing is struggling. So yeah. So without wasting any time, guys, let's jump right into it. Once I let you know, none of this is any financial advice. Only for education purposes. I'm only sharing my opinion, providing my opinion. That's all. I take guarantee of nothing. You are solely responsible for your own financial decisions and outcomes. Okay. So guys, the very first thing I want to do is talk to you about some of the news that we have on Neo. All right, so guys, the only important one that we have is Neo to officially launch Onvo brand in May. And seems like this is a um, rename of Alps to Onvo. I mean, yeah, I don't know why. Like, I like the name Alps better than Onvo. But anyways, um, there is, I think, something... Uh, Okay, in, in one of the previous articles, they are explaining what does the word mean, the name mean. So, all right, here we go. Every road a family takes together is a happy road. And that's what it names means. Well, I, I just don't know. I'm, I felt like Alps was a better name, but also at the same time, I think like, why is Neo even creating these sub brands? Why not just, you know, tag along with the name Neo? I, I'm just worried that they're coming up with a separate name because they might want to launch this as a separate entity, which means Neo stockholders would not benefit eventually after. If Again, this is all just my speculation, but if Onvo now, aka Alps, if it's launched later as a complete separate entity so that they can raise a complete separate you know, a money in that, that has nothing to do with the liabilities that Neo is in, with the money they have already raised so much in Neo. If this is what they eventually gonna do, then guys, as a new shareholder, you're not gonna get any benefit out of it. But anyways, unfortunately, coming back to the technicals now, Neo has just couldn't do it. So what I mean by that? So guys, things were looking great on Neo. We are talking about that how after earnings, these moves came, right? We were getting this upside, and look at it. The upper a triangle channel that was the second stage right we went all the way up there that was so awesome i talked about these three stages with you you can see three boxes five dollars and 28 cents to five dollars and 80 cents and then to six six dollars and 34 cents and then the third stage was all the way to seven dollars unfortunately we couldn't make our way into that third stage because that would have also kept put us out of this lower moving uh triangle wedge upper wedge line and that would have really shifted its sentiment. And then final stage was that $7 range. I'll show you on the weekly interval as well in just a second. But that's what we were looking for, right? And that's what would have changed and shifted the pattern. But unfortunately, NEO failed to get out of this lower triangle. You can see it rejected right above there and has even gone broke below $5.82 and is yeah down there again, guys. This thing, my worry is that it's going to become one of those stocks, guys, that just crawl around at the bottom, like scrape the bottom of the barrel for the rest of their life, right? I'm just worried about that to happen to Neo because this thing is just not get, getting anywhere right now, anywhere, okay? So hourly interval, you can see a massive sell-off on this, right at that rejection of the trend line, the upper bound resistance level, marked by my indicator as well, second stage breakout re rejection, and we plummeted, guys, we plummeted. It's you know this trend line also is broken that neo was trying to follow and yeah it's game over but when i say game over this thing right now has no sign of bullishness again or the upside again yeah this was it and that's why we have stop losses but that was the play and it failed to go above six dollars and 34 cents this was uh, the level structure break was right around this area as well guys six dollars because it started to form a lower pivot. It broke the previous pivot, right? So that was that. And guys, now we are even below 200 hours moving average. So unfortunately, guys, any upside possibilities only on Neo if it gets above $5.80 again. Yeah, 
otherwise yeah it can uh, keep going lower yeah you know it's not difficult to talk about it it's just simply put it it's i just feel sad for people who have invested their money so much into neo i was an investor i took my losses on neo guys already you know that if you have been following my videos for quite some time now on neo you already know i have booked my losses on neo i have moved on you know so uh it was it's it's it is what it is right i'm i'm happy to accept it my losses on neo so yeah guys any upside on this if it comes ever right now it has to first again get above five dollars and eighty cents but again the six dollars and thirty three cents is a stage blocker right now like this is it failed over there and it just didn't fail it just plummeted it if it could have just made a pullback and a support at these levels like five dollars and ninety two cents or six or five dollars and eighty cents that was a good sign that okay neo still has some potential but it just like it just fails it just crashes all the time right that's the problem with this thing i also want to take you to the weekly interval and so that things comes into perspective as well for you guys so watch that third stage why the third stage was so important for us to get into that third green box that we have up here this stage was very important guys because this is where we had this levels the funnel resistance on the weekly interval because if we could have gotten out of that $7 and up, that was a break of structure of the downtrend and that would have put us in the uptrend back again, at least to the $10 level, right? Now dollars 50 cents. But unfortunately, NEO failed to even go into that third stage and it just rejected right at one of our level $6.33, right? So this is not good. And then we are also losing this $5.80, guys. This is not good on NEO now what to do here right guys that's up to you i'm not here to tell you what you have to do i already took my short i oh, sorry i already took my uh, stop losses on, but this wasn't a stop loss it was my long-term new position that i just got out of well long time ago well not long time ago but i got out here you know i can't even remember where i get out but there was critical break of structures that i get out on right uh, but it's been a quite quite some months that i have been out of neo and then guys that was the only play that so on the daily interval that we got you know this was the only uptrend play that we got on neo and that's why we have trailing stop losses or stop losses of some sort but yeah so right now i'm not seeing any confirmation on neo unfortunately guys to the upside um yeah this thing may may stay much lower neo really has to start making profits they really have to turn around their delivery um, if I show you a couple of, you know, um, other things like, you know, look at the competitors like Zeger, you know, look at it, like, look at their sales going up, like they are better than Neo, right? Like Ato and all these other companies, there's a competition coming right on Neo, right? So, and yeah, it's, it's just, um, just, it's, it, I, I think Neo has, uh, the leadership is not running this as a business okay leadership is neo leadership i don't know if even if i call, want to call them leadership but neo um company is not being run properly as a business it's just being run as oh we are doing so good to the society but that's not how the business works like as a shareholder right i mean I'm I'm not I'm not investing in a no, no non-profit company. I'm investing in a company that will run it as a business and make profits, right? As a shareholder. So yeah, Neo needs to get its game together first. Um, otherwise, this is good for nothing right now, guys. It's you can see how well it rejected. When I say how well, it doesn't sound great, but precisely to our lower wedge, uh, that triangle, that downward triangle, it rejected there. It found support there as well, but it rejected there as well. So that's what it is guys well this is it for this video guys um let's see a couple of things here we have neo and C catl to co-develop long life ev batteries neo shares down five percent okay um and then neo is maintained at neutral by ubs but they cut their price target to seven dollars and twenty cents well it's even below that right now uh, and then you already know there has been a lot of um you know uh, sell-offs on well the downgrades on neo stock right and then we have also cash strapped tesla rival in china throws in a free phone to boost ev sales gimmick or game changer 
I think they're just trying to make a joke here. So Chinese EV maker Neo is reportedly offering a complimentary Neo phone to customers purchasing its 2024 electric models. The promotion is valid only for the month of March and Neo is considered a yeah, rival to Tesla. I don't know. I think there are other rivals to Tesla that are better than Neo at this point. Um, yeah, so, okay, Neo Financials. The EV maker delivered 160,000 vehicles last year, marking an increase of 30%, 30.7% from 2022. However, it has yet to make a profit. And this is where it's so cringy with Neo always that, guys, last year, remember they were saying, oh, our end of the year target is to be profitable, profitable. Where did all that thing go? They don't even follow up on their own words. They keep kicking can down the road. I have seen this habit in Neo, and it's very troublesome. It's it's very cringy. It's very disappointing. They will say all this good stuff, but miss on their promise. They have habit of not even over promising. They have this habit of promising and not even delivering on it. Right, um, guys. I'm just sorry. I just. I just hate to see this management doing it this way. And I know, you know, not every one of you is going to like what I'm saying here about Neo, but guys, people didn't like me talking about this, you know, reality on Lucid as well years ago, right? Um, and I said that Lucid is good for nothing, you know, and you can go and see it stock, right? It's just fallen off the cliff, do, does nothing. So, um, but I'm here to just provide my real opinion. And again, my real opinion is, you know, I, I, I don't cater my opinions as of what someone wants to hear. It's, it is the reality. It is what it is. And if things don't, doesn't look great regarding a company, right? There's a price action and there's a company, right? So we trade based off of the price action and then overall picture as for how the events for that direction the stock is taking, right? Guys, it has to do a lot with the company as well. So, um, but anyways, guys, um, this is it for this video. Again, if you found it helpful, valuable, hit the like, subscribe. I'll see you in my next videos, guys. Take care. Bye.